Hello everyone, this is Curtis with We Whack a Lawn Care. Hey, in this video, it's going to be about home improvements. And, uh, yeah, I want to give you a lot of tips on home improvements here. I've done a video last week of uh, me putting down a floor. And also, I want to tell everyone about that other video. I, I noticed in the comment section, people have left me a message about what did I decide to do on doing that other property where it was overgrown and had all this debris in there and everything on that that, vid that on that video where I showed that property I passed on that y'all that was just too much it was a short notice and it had a lot of debris and it was going to take a lot of time to uh, try to clean that property up so I was like you know nah that, that was just too much work for a short period of time and trying to get everything organized and get the property prep where I can mow it and all this and that. And it was just too much debris in that. So I passed on that. So uh, I just want to let everyone know that I always leave me a comment in reference to that property. I passed on it. And I read all the comments and y'all were right about that. No, it was just too much. A lot of people said pass, pass, pass. It wouldn't do it, wouldn't do it. Take me. I believe you. I wouldn't do it and I didn't do it. So thank y'all for those comments. Now, back on to the video of the home improvement portion, what I want to tell y'all about. There's a lot of things in a home that you can do yourself for is doing flooring. As you know, I put a video out last week where I done my flooring in here. Now you have to shop around sometimes to find some good deals on some good products to uh, install in your home. Um, it's just a number of things that you can do yourself, but you know, you got to look around and, and take your time. Don't be, don't get in a rush. Um, that's, that's a lot of time because you can spend a lot of money if you get in a rush on certain things, unless you just really need it right away, then you know, you're up on that. Now, the, floor, the flooring project in my kitchen that's completed. Now, I have another project. I need a, a new, uh, central air and heat heating system in my home uh the heater done went out so i had it checked out and it was a crack in my furnace where the flames you know blowing out and what happened was i put a new thermal cover in my heater but the power light would never stay lit and that was a safety factor on it now the unit is up in the attic and some things you don't want to mess with i mean if that the flames are coming out of that unit as it was lit you could burn your house down so that's that's not safe so it, it's time to just get that out of there i mean i've gotten my use out of it i i bought this house brand new back in 91 and uh, at the time that i purchased this home i was doing a lot of traveling and my dad would come by and uh well he took care of the lawn he had a little lawn service and all so he would take care of that for me because i was out of town working a lot i was flying here and there and i was doing some uh contract work with uh computers and all and i think at the time that i bought this house i was in charlotte north carolina working at ibm um, on a job and then when i came back home i stayed here for a little while then i went to uh I went to Austin and I was working at Dell Computers for for a while there and then back and forth, you know, traveling, came back home, worked at Compaq for a while, then Compaq Computers, then I worked at now, so then left there and I went to uh, New Jersey working at AT&T doing uh, some network support work, you know, just, I, I, stayed, I stayed on the go all the time. So I was really never at home, and I, uh, you know, I, I wasn't, I was gone all the time. So that's why I bought a new house, because I didn't want any problems. But over the period of time, over years, things happen in homes where stuff just age and it just deteriorates, it just wear out. Now, some of the items that I have purchased for this home, this new, I've had after 10 years of being in this home, I had to buy a new hot water heater. Uh, the one that they had in there, it never would if I had company. Um, it it never did have enough 
enough hot water in there. I mean, one person could take a shower or whatever, but you weren't going to get two. So I had to upgrade the hot water heater. I put a bigger hot water heater in there. I got a 40 gallon. I think they must have had something like a 10 gallon or something in there. But I upgraded that, and it's probably time for another. New, I think I put a new hot water heater in here in around about, uh, I think it was uh, 01. So that's the date on that hot water heater. So I need to get a new one of them again. So I'm going to be buying a new hot water heater. I purchased a new toilet. I put a new toilet in here. Uh, I've also purchased, let me see what else did I get. I also have replaced the stove. I replaced the dishwasher. That went out. Now when I bought the house it had a, a it came with a microwave and a, and a stove. It was like a high point. You know they always put the low end products in the house. So I, what happened with the stove was the oven went out. It went, I couldn't make no cakes and pies and cookies and nothing. So, you know, I, hey, I got to get me a stove. But I found a stove that was on sale. And I think I got it probably about two or three years ago at Best Buy. They had it on sale. It was a display stove. It was brand new. And uh, I was looking at the display and I said, I want this, this stove right here. And they said, well, we don't have any more of them. They went and looked in the back and they checked their inventory in their database and they didn't have any more. And they said, well, would you want this one? I said, well, yeah, I'll take that one. And the stove was priced at, um, at $1,200, but at the time they were selling it for $800. And then I was looking at it and I said, well, wait a minute, it's got a dent on the side. So then they marked some more down. So I ended up getting the stove for like $480 because it had a little dent on the side. And I'm like, I'm pushing the stove in the back. Nobody's going to ever see that. It's not out in an opening. So what was a little dent? Wasn't really that big of a dent. You know, it was just a little dent. I, I just pointed it out to them, so they discounted it. So I got a, a deal on that. Also, when I replaced the dishwasher, I was shopping, and they had a sale in the paper uh, on some uh, dishwashers. So I... Uh, I went and I was looking and they had this other model and uh, I think what the, what is that I don't know I think it was it was some other brand whatever I don't know what that is Kim or whatever but anyway I got a sale on that a discount on that one too and I saved some money on that so over the years I've had to buy a number of items for his uh, I had to buy a new refrigerator which I had a refrigerator when I was living in California the apartments didn't come, didn't come with refrigerators, so I ended up while I was out there buying a refrigerator because I didn't want to rent a, a refrigerator. So I was like, yeah, I'll just buy one. And I bought one and I had shipped my stuff back. But as again, they were having a sale, so I got a deal on the refrigerator. <laughs> so, and I, you know, just always shopping. And I also, you know, when I bought this house, I also ended up uh, buying. Uh, what can I say? I bought a Maytag. I had a Maytag washer and dryer. And I'm, what, what led me to buy that Maytag unit was I was looking at a commercial on television and the guy was always, they said, these he, he, never have no problem. So these guys just don't do nothing. Man, I bought that Maytag. I had that guy out here every other week. <laughs> Dog on Maytag with no more problems. The problem was I had from day one, it would leak. So I called him out. I said, when I wash my clothes, all this water and stuff is all over the floor. They came out. They fixed it. And then next week, I called him again. So then they finally, some other guy came out. And it was some kind of plastic seal or something that they put in there. I ended up calling him probably about, I don't know. I, I want to say it was at least about 15 times I had him out here. I had to take off and wait. So eventually, over the years, luckily, I had an extended warranty on it. I purchased this warranty. Uh, playing on it and I bought this I bought I bought that at Montgomery Wards when they were uh, still in business and uh, you know it, I mean it worked over a period of years I, I think I I managed to use it till uh, it uh, just you know I got tired of just calling them to repair the thing and the warranty thing had ended so I, th I say I kept it for about 10 or 15 years and I bought a new uh, wash and dry LG 
and I haven't had any more problems. No leakage, nothing. From day one, when they bring it, I haven't had any problems with that LG washer and dryer, which is a good product. Got a seal on that too. You know, I caught it at, it was some, I think it was like a Washington President Day or some kind of seal they were having, and I got a deal on that. So it's all, those are just home tips I'm just telling you. You just gotta shop around and you can make some good bargains and get some good products because this stuff come on sale and they want to move it. They want to move it. Now on this unit that I'm going to tell you about, uh, I had a company, I had three companies to come out here. I'm not going to mention the, I'll mention the last company, but I'm not going to mention the other two companies because, nah, and nothing. I'm just not going to say, but I'm just going to tell you what happened when they came out and, um, to inspect the unit and give me a price for that. It was, uh, you know, the guy inspected it, you know, take the square footage of the house and tell you what ton you need for your unit, which it was, I know what size unit I have, a three and a half ton out here, you know, and you know, you, you, well, you don't want to have more than you need. You want to have right in the board because you can get a lot of moisture and compensation. And what that does is the inner coral this in the system will compensate a lot of water and moisture and that'll build up uh, mildew and mold and stuff. You don't want that. You don't want to be breathing that in there. And that's where the cause is in there. That thing needs to be clean. A lot of people not aware about how filthy the cause get inside of the unit. Especially if there's a lot of, you know, traffic, dust and debris, and, you know, cars, all that stuff get in there. And you get all that stuff get trapped into that unit and you breathing that stuff and you wonder why you get sick and you know and what's going on and well it's your air conditioning unit is not it's not bringing in fresh air into your house you're getting contaminated contaminations I mean air dust mites all this stuff is in there so you got to change that stuff out and right like mine they open it up and it was filthy I know I changed those filters and all, but the thing, that other thing is like you need to uh, clean it out the call system. Like when you had an old unit, old window unit, where you could pull that thing out and take it down to the car wash and wash them coils all out and then, you know, let it dry out and then shove it back into the window. And it was good to go, it was fresh. But these things that's up in there, you can't pull that out of there and uh, take it and wash it and everything. I wish you could, but they don't make them like that because they want to make it ser serviceable where you can go and, you know, call somebody out and whatever. But anyway, what I want to say is on this unit, the guy was telling me about it and he was giving me the prices and the option and everything and this and you put this here on here and all this, computerized this, Wi-Fi and all this and that for the new air conditioning unit. Anyway, they, they told me, uh, it was going to run me $17,000 to put that new unit in. $17,000. Man, don't you know I was thinking about, hey, I could buy me a couple window units and put around in here. You know? <laughs> but I know, you know, in a home, a HOA, they don't like you to have it. But I was like, hey, if it gets that hot or that cold, I'll buy me a couple window units. I'll buy me, I can buy, I can go buy me a couple heaters and put off up in here if I'm going to get that cold, man. $17,000, I ain't going to spend no $17,000. Not for that. But, he, you know, I, I said, okay, yeah, I'll think about it. And what I'm going to tell you also about a hot water heater. He was looking over there and he was telling me about the hot water heater. And he says, oh, well, yeah, your hot water heater is kind of corroded there and, and you, you're going to need to get one of them. And, we can install that, and I said, well, yeah, I, I, I will pick me up a hot water. I said, well, if you pick up the hot water heater, we can install that. You can? I'm like, well, how much is that? Oh, well, okay, you, we install the hot water heater after you pick it up and everything. You can get one probably at Home Depot for about $500, and we can get it installed, and we get $1,700. They gave me a price for $1,700. $1,700, I'm like, wait a minute, me and my son put this hot water heater in here back in 01 and now this guy here going to tell me I'm going to pay $1,700 to install it with two pipes of hot water and a cold water and a drip pan and it's going to run me $1,700? Come on man, you know I can do that myself. 
That's a tip, y'all. Don't get taken. You know, don't get taken. I hope this helps somebody because I just want to give you some of the experiences of what I went through. You know, dealing with contractors who come out to your house. That's why I want you to get educated before you let somebody come out and take you and try to get all your money and rip you. Oh, I done got warmed up on this now, y'all, because I don't like nobody trying to take me to be like, whoa, I'm just going to spend my work hard for my money. Come on now, let's break it down. So I told company one, that's no. I didn't, I didn't tell them I'll get back what y'all think about it. I already thought about it right then and now. It was going to be completely no. You ain't doing nothing for me. When you tell me it's going to cost me $1,700 to install my hot water heater and I'm going to buy the hot water heater and then I'm going to have it here for you just to install it and a drill pan and that's a, that was a no-no right there. I was like, I ain't going to pay that. No, forget that. that Curtis ain't paying that. No, no. I'm like, it ain't, it don't cost that much to, to do that. No. So, you know, I'm going along. I'm like, forget that. That company, that thing. Mm -mm. So I'm like, look, I have a budget. I'll think about it. I'm like, no. Dealing with company one, I would be $20,000 in a hole. I'm like, no, that's all right. So let's get another company. Let's get another opinion about this. So I have another company come out and I ain't going to say their name, but they came out, it was kind of reasonable, so now the unit that they displayed and they get a filter and we can fix this right and we can put you this in and put you that in there and you know they measure this and measure that and said well yeah you're going to need this unit right here and it'll be sufficient, um, yeah three and a half, would be, but you could go with a four ton, would be a little bit more and it would cost you this and then I'm like well what about this filter system here, which what it is they had, you know, I already know about this light thing that they put in there that's supposed to dry the corals out and all this and that. I'm like, okay, yeah, all right, it'll keep this dry. Totally rip off. Total, total rip off. So, I'm listening, they telling me this and say, yeah, let's run you about 8000 and getting this in and putting that in there. So, when they got through with it, it was $9,000. I'm like nine thousand. Okay, we're looking at nine thousand dollars now. Okay, for nine thousand dollars, I'm like, okay, maybe I can work with that. I'm going, all right, all right, nine thousand. I'm all right. I'm thinking about it, but I'm still wasn't ready to jump on a nine thousand dollar deal. I said, well, yeah, you know, we have a financing plan, and you can finance it for like ninety six months. I'm not doing no eight years for no central. And he, I'm like, no, nah, man, I don't, I'll think about it. I have a budget and I'll think about it. I'm like, okay, fine. I'm not doing that. I'll think about it. So meanwhile, my phone rings again and another company called me. And this company called me, which it was Sears. And I was like, well, okay. They said, you having any problems with your home? I'm like, yeah, yeah. They said, well, we can have somebody to come out tomorrow, which is today. They came out today. And so... They broke me, uh, came out and gave me uh, a price for uh, installing and they had these discounts and all this and that. And the thing that I liked about them was they had a portal and you have a password and you go in your portal if you have any problems and everything. So what they offered me was all my appliances, my refrigerator, my stove, my dishwasher, my washer and dryer, would be placed on a maintenance program, a home improvement plan that if one of those items gave me problems that they would come out and fix it and also they come out and inspect it and service it. This is going to come in with the unit, the new AC and heating unit that they would install. And you, you know, you have all these items and you can just go into a portal, log in, say so you're having problems and they, you know, making them, making them arrangement to have someone to come and service which I like that and I don't like having to call somebody waiting around on the phone for them. I like the service portal that was great then they offered me you know a team but I want to show you see this here and they also gave me a drawing As you can see this right here on here for is this drawing of, of the AC unit the heating and ducts and the flow and everything like this here it goes in the house, the outside unit. All this here, this is going to be replaced. That's going to be new. And then the only thing I'm getting is the new unit, which, you know, the ducts, wasn't well, nothing wrong with my ducts and all. 
So I'm just sh showing y'all that this here is what they went over with with me. So I was like, okay, that sounds great. Plus you had a team of people that's gonna walk you through it if you had any problems and everything and they were gonna be there and all. And I was like, okay, this sounds pretty good. So let's get to the pricing part of it. So they came down to a price with their discounts and everything. It came down to be like about, well it was eight, eight thousand and thirty-five dollars, something like that. Yeah, eight. So I'm like, okay, this is eight thousand dollars. So I'm like, what does this cover? What type of unit am I getting? You know, a name brand unit. Man, I'm like, okay. And they're gonna stand behind it. It's gonna have a 10 year warranty and everything. And I'm like, okay. And it's a, uh, that uh, series 16 system energy efficient system that they done come out with, which accepts the new uh, Freon, um, the 410A freon system that they didn't come out with this new because they banned the old freon and all the other systems and a lot of people was telling me that they still have some of them but it's very high you know i think i mentioned something about it but yeah that stuff is very high so you know i'm listening to all this i'm like okay so i decided i said well you know what if i'm gonna have if they're gonna throw in a maintenance plan for all the appliances and then i don't have to worry about you know something breaking and they'll come and fix it like the ice maker and all now i do have a refrigerator and the ice maker did go out which i've repaired my ice maker in my refrigerator i went on amazon and put in a model number and i think i paid like 25 dollars they sent me another ice maker so i took it out and put a new one in but you know, and a lot of times I feel like I'm getting you get ripped off with a lot of stuff that you can repair. It's like how often does it break? But we never know. You know, so I'm like, well, okay, I'll go on and throw that in. But after, you know, after a period of time anyway, it's gonna be time to just upgrade because it's old stuff, and they got some new stuff, more energy efficient. So you can end up spending on a service contract. I remember a lady had a service contract and she paid for years, I don't know, I don't know, $60, $70 every year or whatever. Well, adding that up, and that was like over a 20 year period, I'm like, you could have bought another uh, washing machine. And they would come out and they would put a new belt on it, put a new motor in it, all this and that. But you still got that old machine there and they got computerized machines, some old machine with an analog system in it. And, you know, I'm like, well, what you pay for in that service warranty contract reassuring you, you could have bought a new product with a year warranty and all. That's money you could have possibly saved. So sometimes, you know, I'm just giving you all tips. Sometimes it's good to have warranties on some things and some things not because after it gets a certain age and then it come out, sometimes they can't even find parts for the stuff. You know, and it that's why I, I feel you should just upgrade and get something more energy efficient, something more user friendly and buying stuff like, like in my house here when they came out, I didn't, they didn't come with a digital uh, system on the wall, but I'm gonna have that now. Now I didn't, I didn't get the one with the Wi-Fi where I can control it. I don't really need that. I'm all, I don't, I mean, just set the thing, program it to when you want it to come on, when you want it to cut off and go from there which I could have paid a little bit more and had a Wi-Fi connection but do I really need it I'm not worried about it that much you know if I'm gonna be gone if I'm gonna be gone away from the house a long period of time I cut everything off anyway you know cuz hey ain't no sense in letting the thing run you're not here anyway you waste the money but you can program the thing to come on at a certain time and cut off at a certain time. So I was like, I, I didn't need that. Anyway, well, there's another way you can, there's another system you can buy and plug into your system, a module system, and you can control everything in the house. For the lights, electricity, water flow, everything. Uh, there's so much new technology out there that you can in, put into your house to innovate it for is doing a home improvement upgrade. But a lot of stuff, do we need it? Nah, because uh, we get it, are we going to use it? 
Nah, so why are we paying money for stuff that we're not going to use that's going to become obsolete because they're going to come out with something else new. So a lot of stuff we just don't need. And so why spend the money on stuff that we don't need? You know, it's there if we need it. It's there if we're going to use it. But I'm like, I've learned over a period of years, a lot of stuff I don't need, I'm not, I'm not going to buy it. I'm just not going to buy it. If I say definitely I'm going to use this, this is what I want, then I'm going to, I see that's something to spend the money for and it's worthwhile. But don't be cheap now. Some people go, <laughs> they want to buy the cheapest stove, they want to buy the cheapest product. I'm like, if you're going to do it yourself, you're saving money, so you might as well go on and get the good stuff, you know. Not the border, not not at the top of the line, but right in the middle. That's gonna be sufficient and keep you some money in your pocket, so you can have something else to do. That's like I was telling the guy with the air conditioning. I said, "How much is this thing gonna cost?" Because man, I want to be able to uh, stay in the house. I mean, <laughs> I may not be able to stay. If it's, if it's gonna cost me a fortune, I'm gonna have to stay gone all the time trying to work to pay for this thing. I'm like, man, no. But I, you know, I got it down. They offered me. Uh, well, financing it zero percent for 12 months interest, you know. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm gonna have to really mow a lot of yards to get that paid for if that's gonna happen. I don't know, but hopefully, I have a good season. But I don't know, you know, you never know about this stuff with the weather. It's raining, it's been raining all week here, and uh, I ain't done nothing yet. I mean, it's been raining off and on one day, it's raining one day, it's dry, then it's cold, and then it's raining back again. and uh, so it's just been an up and down thing with the weather. And I haven't, you know, and that, that's, 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 that's just known to be when, when you work in this type of uh, industry for is doing lawn care, you know, maybe, let me see, February, March, yeah, it's gonna start picking up if it gets warm and everything. But while it's been cold, I haven't been out there. When it's raining and wet and cold, I ain't going out there. I ain't looking to get sick. You know, it's not worth it. I'm going to be laid up sick and all. And I ain't going to have it in my house being cold in here. That's why I'm going to put this new system in. So tomorrow, I'm going to see how this all pan out. They're supposed to be here in the morning and taking this system out and putting a new system in. And I'm going to see how that go. And I'll let y'all know. If y'all leave me some comments, how did it go for the installation and the installment. And I'll tell y'all about it, you know. But I'm just sharing this here about improvements in your home and what you can do and saving you some money if you have a home or if you're looking to get a home and if you you know buying a used home or whatever things that it's going to break down you know and you're just going to have to put some new home improvements in some of the newer stuff in there so you look at that and that's why you know it's good to buy a new home because some of them put all the newer technology in there you know, for his pipes and all, they got some new click pipe systems now, not the old PVC and copper. Next thing, yeah, I'll probably change, uh, well, I don't know. I have a copper system in here, and uh, I've had some problems with that where over a period of years, from particles in the water, it would eat through that copper, and I got a leak. You know, you just never know. It never stops in a house, it never stops. There's a lot of maintenance and all. But anyway, y'all. I hope this has helped somebody and they can use some of this information. So uh, leave me some comments, what y'all think, if you have any problems in the homes, whatever you've done and all, and ways to save money on doing some things and all, and where's the best places to go shopping and all. Now I'm giving y'all these videos because I'm not working not right now. So some people, I know it was a comment asked me, am I going into a, starting another business? No, I'm not starting another business. Hopefully I'm not starting another business right now, but sometimes I do think about starting another business because right now you have to be versatile. You can't rely just on doing one thing all the time. You have to be versatile at this time of uh, in your life. Because we're in the 2020s and you can't just rely. You got to have multiple sources of income. So that's why sometimes you'll see me in the video, I'm doing pressure washing jobs. I'll do a fence repair. Um, there's other jobs I do. I used to paint. And I have for painting my whole house. I'm painting some other houses, but I, I never show that. Uh, for me doing some type of electrical work, for installing ceiling fans, installing a garage door, 
uh, doing light fixtures in the house, uh, garbage disposals, I've installed some of those, uh, garage door openers, I've installed some. Okay everyone, I, as I was as I was saying, there's a number of things I have installed and worked on. You know, I mentioned uh, garbage disposal, uh, garage door openers. I've installed those. Uh, there's, I mean, I've even done siding for his, on the house. Install that. You know, particle where we have like that old particle board on the side of the house which I call wafer board because it'll deteriorate once it gets some water in there. Well, now they have hardy plank. I've installed that on the house. So there's a number of tasks that I have uh, done over the years is working on a house, is improving a house, you know. A number of tasks. So when you have a house, there's a lot of things that you may have to repair sometime or another, not knowing when, but it's going to come. If you keep a house, you're going to have to do some repairs in there. And uh, I have anticipated on, you know, doing that, participated in doing a number of things in there over the years. Now, I don't do a lot of stuff I don't do anymore for a lot of customers because it's time consuming. I don't do it. I don't have the time. But sometimes if someone asks me, I may do it. If I have the time, I may do it. I may help them out when it's slow but when it when it's go time and I'm doing all these lawn care jobs then I don't, I don't have the time to do that anymore but you have to be versatile as I was saying you got to be versatile at all times you have to pick up new skills and you can't just rely on just doing one thing all, all the time and so that's why y'all see me I'll switch over and I'll do some other stuff there now I, I used to be big off into uh, cars and all of that. I used to play with them, like tuning up the motors and all of that, computerized, you know, chip, um, tuning up the engine, you know, but I, I don't mess with that anymore. You know, that's just like my, uh, well, my car, uh, my uh, Cadillac, when I bought that car, I didn't even know what I was getting. I didn't know it had a performance package. But it has one, and the thing will go. And, you know, I, I was out messing with the thing one time, and I said, well, I wanted to see what this car would do. And, I mean, it would get, it, it'll get up and go. I got it up to about 120, and it was like, come on, we got some more to do. <laughs> Not with me, you ain't finna do it. I had to slow that thing down. But, uh, you know, that's just... Other things, you have to be versatile at all times right now. You can't rely on doing the same thing over and over. It's just like, you see me, I cook, I do I do a number of things. And I had developed a skill set over a period of years. And I got that way from when I went to college. You take different subjects in college. So you learn a lot of different things. So you train yourself where that you can be versatile at all times. And you know, I, it was times I could have walked away I could have uh, went on and got my certification to teach, but I don't want to teach. When I first got out of college, I was working in the school district. Uh, I worked for about three months as a sub, and I had all the paperwork to take the, uh, a certification, teacher's TCAT certification to become a teacher. And I was like, you know what, I don't want to do this. It was great, you know, working with the kids and all. I was just fresh out of college. Everything was still on my mind, fresh, but I didn't want to be a teacher. You know, the students liked me. I was getting requests. Students were asking, could I come back? You know, and I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and I went to a number of schools for about three months, but then when a job offer came through, I was out of there. I'm like, man, I don't want to teach. It probably would have been great. I probably, if I would have went, I, I say now, nah, if I would have pursued a career as being a teacher, well, I know for a fact I probably would be like, it's time to retire. I've been uh, retired from that, you know, but I didn't, I didn't pursue it, you know, as being a teacher. I don't want to teach. But I have those opportunities to do it, you know, for us. I could have got in the technical side, took over computer class, you know, or math class. You know, I, I could have worked in those areas, but I chose not. I chose to go into the field that I went into. I got my electrical engineering degree, so I chose to go and use that. 
and it was great for some times, but today, you like I said again, you have to be versatile at all times, you know, and that's how to save money and fend for yourself. And that's why, you know, I'm doing this video and I hope it helps somebody. You know, I'm just passing on some information from my experience. So if y'all like these videos, leave me some comments and, you know, subscribe to the channel. Therefore, I can, uh, We'll post more videos like this and just pass on more information just to uh, help someone out there. And that's what it's about, you know, helping someone, seeing someone grow, you know, because we all need help. You never know when hard times are going to fall upon you. And that's why I do these videos because I enjoy doing them. I enjoy helping others. I enjoy reading the comments. I like to get back with some people if I can. Now, sometimes there are some comments that I just cannot answer because I don't even know what's wrong with this person. And I figured it out, though, someone that was leaving the crazy comments. I had to look at a lot of videos and I had to figure out who would be leaving me these crazy comments. And it came to me one day because I could see the same comments in someone else's video. And I guess I could read through them comments. I said, well, they see this over here on my channel. And they see this, and then I put it together. And I seen a video that a person had posted, and they were talking just like what they had typed in the comment. Hmm. Make you kind of wonder how. But you got to study that stuff closely to pick up on it. Because I, you know, I don't have time for it, really, y'all. I'm, you know. I don't have time for that craziness, you know. And a lot of people have a lot of craziness in there. And I know they just want to have some fun and pick and whatever and say some crazy stuff that don't make any sense. And, you know, you after working, you don't have time for it. But most people are looking for information that's going to help them and support them. And that's what I'm about. But like I said, if you like this channel, subscribe. And I'll keep posting information for you. And I'll try to help you the best way I can. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this home improvement video that I was putting together for you to share with you and all. So I got to go for now. I got, uh, I got some more stuff to do. I got to get ready for tomorrow because I'm going to get that new unit installed. But uh, I'm going to see if I can get this here posted and hope you all enjoy. But have a, a good night. I got to go now. Y'all take care. Bye.